Howdy cowdies. It's that time of the week. Weekly walkabout. We've got another cool sale this week. Heaps of different stuff. More bloke shed stuff that didn't make last week. I think last week was a bloke shed sale. Here's a cool little Pontiac badge. Product of the General Motors Company. Nice little Australian military sort of regimental sort of enamel badges there. Pretty cool old RACV bonnet mascot over the back. What else have we got? This nice little uh, original watercolour there, a little design for a ladies 1920s, 30s high heeled shoe. Some nice postcards, large size postcards. Little bits of sort of goss travelling wear and stuff. Some Dana, Dana Gibson postcards, Gibson girls. Yes, we've got Oriental, a little group of sterling silver. Some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet, but not many bits of jewellery this week. Alright, little drop front sort of radiogram. Nice little, little chest of drawers, really. Nice little thing with the inlaid decoration. A little deco pedestal. We really like the cedar sort of Victorian little hall chair there. Nice little pair of bedsides. We've got some great clothes this week. Pretty cool vintage gents Hawaiian shirt there. And what do we reckon this is? Koala fur, do we? Looks like it might be a little koala fur cape. Some more cool sort of ladies retro outfits. Some more gent summer shirts, camp shirts. Retro again, some great stuff in that lot. More ladies and gent stuff. Little Miss Marilyn of Dallas, Texas. Cool little sort of polyester top. There's a nice little skirt to go with it as well there with the white belt. Some cool gents bisley shirts. What else do we got? Little ladies coats, sort of uh, school jackets there, prefect, football prefect jacket, some bad 70s gent sort of beige coloured brown shirts and a safari jacket, really cool tracksuit top, on the back it's got the Acropolis Dance Theatre, you can see Nick Giannopoulos dancing around in that thing, <laughs> Australian 1951 battle jacket, some more nice ladies clothes, gents shirts again, some sports apparel over the back, furry hats, linen and lace, big lot of books, Another big lot of books. That rug looks nice and warm. Some nice little bits of stereo gear there. What else have we got? Boxes of comics and stuff and light fittings. Nice little, little aluminium Colebrookdale style chairs there. Little group lot. Reproduction gramophone at the top's pretty cool. It all works. Nice little dressing table. Nice little stool. Trunks. Got oh, like a little shelving unit over the back there with the drawer in the centre is a nice little thing. More trunks, chairs, cool upholstery, old industrial sort of sewing machine, nice pair of mission speakers. Big sort of TV island screen print wall hanger, the turtles is pretty cool. What else have we got? Some Weta Tasmanian chargers. Nice big lot of books up the top there. More nice ephemera and magazines, some cool old NASCO Holden boxes. Big lot of pottery down the bottom, some Diana in amongst there, big lot of crystal, a lot of retro gear. More Australian pottery, nice little photograph and some other stuff. Australian pottery there as well. Yeah, so we got some coit sets and that thing. And a nice little display cam that's pretty cute. Nice little oil painting there of a Linda. Funny little weird skateboard sort of thing that's going to probably kill you if you try it. Another Repro HMV gramophone, nice decorative. A couple of nice old cases, nice old scales, really nice old heat lamp. A couple of oil paintings, this is the best of them in this lot by Phyllis A. Gardner. Can't find out much about her, but it's dated 1929 on the back. It tells me it's not a bad little thing. We've got another one we've put with it, but the other one's not much chop. Just a naive still life, that's a nice little thing that Big hand-painted Father Christmas signs, fantastic. Some nice little Leo Zvickers, Latvian, part of the Blue Brush Group. 1959, it's dated. What else have we got? The Deco, little reproduction Chaparis bronze. Lovely Art Deco sort of cocktail cabinet there with the cabinets either side. And this is a nice little bit, another Latvian artist. Who is it? Sigurds Kalnins. Sigurds Kalnins. Another nice little lino cut sign with his SK initials in the plate. It's a funny little mixed media here, sort of made out of sand. Signed Pittist, and dated 81. Little European school piece is quite nice here as well. A 
And we've got over the back another nice little Leo Snickers there of the local milk bar. All right. Ice buckets, Norman Lindsay print. Some nice old footy cards, a couple of nice old books. Crystal, stacking anodized cakes, scones and biscuits. Goes with a nice little sort of retro cocktail shaker. Some cool little Walkmans, including the Sanyo Sound and Game. There you go, a little AM, FM radio and a little electronic handheld game in one. What else have we got? Big Cheech and Chong movie poster, that's pretty cool. This is a nice little Art Deco print there by Coles Phillips. The frog lamp, Mark loves that. It's his favourite piece this week. <laughs> He's laughing in the background. A couple of nice little watercolours of boats, bookends. I like this little artefacts and crafts of New Guinea book. It's got great examples and descriptions throughout if you're into tribal. This is nice as well, a little Victorian sort of centrepiece there. It's missing probably a glassy pen out of the top. And she's missing the croquet mallet. She was playing croquet, it looks like. She's got her foot on a ball. And the cool little grip, a lot of sort of risque stuff. Booby ashtrays and stuff. Stamps, coins, Jim Beam and Coke. Heh, <laughs> funny, eh? Tribal gear, nice little 70s retro lamp base. This is nice, little Alexandra Copeland Australian pottery vase there called Honeysuckle. I like a bit of pottery with a title. Some nice EP, nice Victorian, another glass, some Gouda, EP again, little repro bronze, nice old American cash register drawer. What else have we got? Brass hat stands, nice old plane, some irons, padlocks and keys, blokey gear, jacket, and someone else, a couple of nice little advertising trays. This is nice, this little bit here from San Francisco, I think it's marked an Edwin Star Original. These are nice bits of Arno Barrow. Some Australian copper goblets. Silvac. Nice big bit of amber glass. Big oriental charger. Nice Chinese vases over the back there are quite nice. Big pirate glass, art glass bowl. Yes, we've got a nice little stick. Nice big dinner set down the bottom there. A couple of interesting bits of Australian art glass over the back. One of them signed. Lighthouse lamps, an absolute cracker. It's got the little lifeboat. Lovely big sort of ebonized walking stick. Really like this little gas heater. It's an absolute little cracker of a bit. Small size. Old chromo lithograph over the back there. The Queen of the Fleet or something after the paintings by William Wiley. What else have we got? Oh, another nice bit of glass. Another nice little bit of glass. Some more Italian glass there. Shelley Harmony Ware. This is a light up bit of uranium glass. Rebued, Zolne, Scandinavian glass, nice bit of Tunstall and something else. Lovely little Frederick George Reynolds watercolour there. Carnival glass, nice bit, the Robert teapot with the insert. Some nice Victorian sort of Bristol blue or cobalt blue glass jugs. She is my favourite bit this week. She's a photograph, about 1920. She has been hand coloured and she is absolutely beautiful. There's no signature by the photographer or anything, but gee, she's nice. Little Silvac Foxy slinking along. Nice big Delft Charger there with a sort of picture after the painting by Rubens. Lovely big cut crystal boudoir lamp. Nice bit of red art glass there. Another lovely bit of Italian. Big Austrian amphora vase is a lovely bit. I don't like this little chip carved clock. There you go. That'll probably bloody do, I'd reckon. Actually, I'll show you one more thing that I know that I've missed. And it's Mark. Yay! No, it's not really him. It's this cool little cartel, Joe Colombo lamp. Great little bit. Nice original piece. Anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked, but you know I don't really care if you did or if you didn't.